Oh, welcome to my place. Have you got tomatoes on vines that are just absolutely delicious and you want to save the seeds for next year? I'll show you how to do it. Get your best tomato and then cut that in half. And when you cut it in half, see those there? All of those little seeds, they are going to become tomato plants for next season. This is what I do. I leave it until the tomato is really mushy. Get a piece of toilet paper and I'll just undo that. Oops, brand new roll of toilet paper. It doesn't want to do it for me. But anyway, we'll just rip that off there. And then what I do is, onto each little piece of toilet paper, what you do is you get your wee seed out like that, and then put a seed in to the middle of each piece of your tissue, your toilet tissue, like so. And then once you've got as many seeds as you want, what you do is, just I just roll that up like that. And then I put that into the hot water cupboard until dry out. Don't forget to make a note of what the tomato seeds are so that when you do go to plant them out next year, you know exactly what you've done. Right, I'm going to short circuit this whole process because I've already kept some tomato, I've already got some from last year. Now I want to show you how to actually start to germinate them. And a little magic thing that you need to remember is that from when you get plant your seed or germinate your seeds, it is exactly 100 days or thereabouts until they are ready to be consumed. Now I'm going to use some seed raising mix now and I've got this lovely box and I've lined it with some newspaper and it's got some drainage holes underneath. Just a fine, fine layering of the seed raising mix and the great thing about the seed raising mix is it's very very fine and it's got a bit of sand in it so we'll just sprinkle that out like that like so and then I've got my tomatoes here these are called Susie's surprise tomatoes we had a lovely lunch at her place last year and she had these gorgeous little tomatoes and I said to her could I please have a couple of those so I did so that's in there and these ones over here are Ian and Kay's surprise tomatoes and they are big, delicious, so tasty tomatoes. Better than the ones that you buy that are glass house grown and commercially grown that have been hydroponically grown because they're not quite as nice as they should be. Well, I don't think they are anyway. I like a tomato that actually tastes like a tomato. Right, when you open this very, very, very carefully, open it up like this and into here onto each of those little bits of toilet paper I have got a little seed there they go oops there's one there so now what I do is just take that off there to rip that off and then just put that into there like so take them all off leave them in the paper it won't matter because they'll grow away from that dig those into there like so and where's another, oh there's another one, let's not mix, take that out. And then cover it with a little bit more soil and then give it a little water and just keep watering that, put that in a really lovely warm place and they will start to germinate and in no time at all, I've put four into there, I will have four beautiful tomatoes. So come back another day and I will show you how to plant these up and we'll just keep an eye on them to see how they go, shall we? Thanks for calling and I'll see you another day.